Hello, it's Principal Calderon with a very special presentation. No, it's not the weekly announcements. It's actually our virtual commencement celebration for the class of 2021. And I am happy to be hosting this very special event. So bear with me. Hopefully we won't have too many technical difficulties as we celebrate our graduates. Welcome, friends and family of Bridgepoint and Crossroads graduating classes of 2021. This is a very special virtual celebration in conjunction with our outdoor graduation ceremonies that were celebrated on Wednesday, June 2nd. I want to open by thanking the folks who made it possible for us to award our graduates their diplomas. Our Newark Unified School Board of Trustees, Mr. Bowen Zhang, President, Ms. Fong Nguyen, Clerk, Mr. Aiden Hill, Member, Mr. Terrence Grindall, Member, Ms. Elisa Martinez, Member, and our Newark Unified School District Executive Cabinet, our Superintendent, Dr. Mark Triplett, our Associate Superintendent of Educational Services, Ms. Nicole Pierce Davis, our Chief Business Official, Ms. Marie De La Cruz, and our Executive Director of Human Resources, Ms. Catherine Ingham Waters. Thank you for your continued support. I would also like to thank our dedicated alternative education staff and faculty that serve our Bridgepoint and Crossroads students and family. Ms. Paula Butler, our office manager. Ms. Veronica Behinas, our campus monitor and attendance clerk. Mr. Hamilton Balon, our school counselor. Mr. Angelo, teacher. Mr. George Hanlon, teacher. Ms. Krista Hodges, teacher. Ms. Valerie Smith, teacher. Mr. Mike Sung, teacher. Mr. John Tiano, teacher. Mr. Marty Wall, teacher. Ms. Janae Shepard from Mission Valley, Mission Valley ROP, teacher. And Chef Joe Roberts, formerly of Mission Valley ROP. Congratulations on your retirement and we lovingly thank you for your service these past three years. Four years actually. And of course, our support providers, Ms. Revy, Airborne Williams from the East Bay Agency for Children, Ms. Amy Souza from Fremont Youth and Family Services, and our parent partners, Leona Gomez and Ashley Acosta. I'm honored to serve as your education, as your alternative education principal, and to be celebrating my fourth year with all of you. Words cannot adequately express the uniqueness of this past year. We have lived through history. We have found success and struggle in distance and hybrid learning. We have missed one another. But graduates, you persevered. You are truly survivors. Tonight, we celebrate your efforts and resilience. Thank you. And now, our counselor, Mr. Balon. Class of 2021, you made it. You should be very proud of yourselves. As you look out into the horizon of what's to come and where your futures might lead, I want you to think about where you've been, how tough it was these last couple years, and how you persevered. If you always remember that, remember the strength within you, you succeed at anything. We trust in you and we believe in you. And we know that there's a lot of bright things ahead. Congratulations on reaching this milestone in your life. And don't be a stranger. Okay, we love to hear what you're up to, what you're doing, and you'll always be a part of the Bridgepoint and Crossroads family. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Balon, for sharing those remarks and also for your continued service to all of our students, ensuring that they graduate.
And now for the introduction of our Bridgepoint and Crossroads honorees, the Student of the Year Award. It is my pleasure to introduce and commend our 2021 Students of the Year for Bridgepoint. During our school closure, we began holding virtual assemblies. I could always count on this student to be there. In fact, given his record of perfect attendance throughout his time at Bridgepoint, I could always count on his presence. Not only could I count on him to be present, I could always count on him to be respectful, kind, and dedicated. Our teachers agreed that he exemplifies the best of the Bridgepoint Panthers. Congratulations to our 2021 Student of the Year, Benazio Cruz. To be successful in independent studies, a student must have the skills, discipline, and motivation to complete coursework, often with limited support. Once our Student of the Year decided that he was going to graduate during his junior year, he not only completed his coursework, but he often excelled. According to Mr. Baylon, our school counselor, this student earned an average of 21 credits each quarter with a 3.9 overall GPA in the three quarters of this school year. Congratulations to our 2021 Crossroads Student of the Year, Anne Mall Gill. Congratulations, gentlemen. It is my pleasure to... Once again, a round of applause, virtual round of applause, for these two young men, Venacio Cruz from Bridgepoint High School and Amal Gill from Crossroads Independent Study Program. Congratulations, gentlemen. Please let us know how you do. It's also my honor now to share with you our student speakers for 2021, Venacio Cruz from Bridgepoint and Ms. Paloma Casaneda from Crossroads. Take it away, Ms. Cazzaniela. Hello, class of 2021. My name is Paloma Cazzaniela, and I'm graduating from Crossroads Independent Studies. And wow, this has been such an experience for all of us. My mom signed me up for independent studies my last year of high school. And at first, I thought it was going to be a sad experience because I wasn't going to experience my last year of high school with all my friends. But my mindset quickly changed when I had my first class meeting with Ms. Hodges. She informed me how many students had worked better in independent studies and work doesn't have to be so hard or complicated because she's just one text away. It was a little weird to be in a class by myself, but I quickly got used to it because Ms. Hodges just made it so comfortable for me to be in a class all by myself. Second semester came around, my teacher was Mr. Angelo. He was my second grade teacher and now he's seeing me graduate. While being a student in independent studies, I got a job as a hostess for this restaurant. This was my first job ever. I didn't know what to expect and didn't know what I was getting into, but I made it happen. It was hard to balance school and work at the same time, but I managed through it with the help of my teachers and my family. I will also say our parents are definitely right. Once you start making money, you do not want to spend any of it or any at all. <laughs> with the four years of high school you have, you make some friends that come and go, but they are a chapter in your life. All of those moments and experiences are maturing and sculpting you to be who you are now. Also remember, we are just finishing high school and we have so many more life events to go through. So let's make some good ones. In closing, I would like to thank Ms. Calderon for being there for me, also my parents and my brothers, and also my whole family. They've always been there for when I needed someone to talk to. They've been there for me when I needed them, when I needed a shoulder to cry on, when I needed just to talk to someone. I would also like to thank my peers for guiding me through the high school classes. It's been a fun four years with you guys, and there's so much more to go. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you so much, Paloma. We wish you the best, and we look forward to hearing from you. Hello, class of 2020, of 2021, my name is. And now it is my pleasure to speak for our Bridgepoint speaker, Benazio Cruz. He has asked that uh, we share this slide presentation that he made in honor of this celebration. So I know I won't be able to do him justice because I'm not Benazio, but I'm going to go ahead and share his words with all of you. Hello, fellow graduates and families. I'm Venacio Cruz, and I'd like to thank Ms. Calderon for the opportunity to speak. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my parents for always pushing me and believing in me, because without them, I honestly couldn't have made it. I'd also like to thank my teachers, Mr. Wall, Mr. Tiano, and Ms. Shepard, 
and a special thanks to Mrs. Smith for always making the time to help me. I think I can speak for many of my classmates when I say she always makes time, always finds the time to help each and every one of us. I honestly can't believe it's been four years already. I remember being in junior high saying how long high school is going to feel, but these four years have gone by so fast. Even though it was hard these last two years due to the pandemic, there were still some good memories made through online classes. However, one of my favorite memories made through, uh, is from my junior year, and I'm so grateful it was before the pandemic because we were able to go to San Francisco for a field trip. Being able to walk around the city and going on BART with all of my friends and classmates was a great day. I'm happy for all of my fellow graduates. I can't wait to see what the future holds for each and every one of us. Congratulations, Panthers. Thank you so much, Venacio, for sharing your words. And now for a special virtual presentation of the class. This typically would have been done in our auditorium before everyone with our board president standing up to accept the class or his designee. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, proceed as if our president was here. So we have awaited high school graduation for the past 13 years for your students. President Zhang, it is my pleasure to certify that these graduates celebrated this week, both in person and virtually, have met the credit requirements as prescribed by the state of California and the Newark Unified District Board of Education. It is my honor and pleasure to present to you our 2021 graduates. And now we have an opportunity to share with you just some special photos, both our slideshow and some candidates that were captured at our in-person celebration. seems to be an ongoing issue for Ms. Calderon, but you know that from watching the announcements.
thanks to the staff members that captured some of those wonderful candidates from our in-person celebration on Wednesday. It wouldn't be a Bridgepoint Crossroads celebration without some additional words from some of your teachers. This is Mr. Sung. Um, I just wanted to give a big shout out and congratulations to the class of 2021. Remember to keep striving forward and push toward your dreams. Don't give up. And remember, we're all rooting for you. Okay. Well, 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 class of 2021. Boy, has this been a year. But every single one of you have pushed through. You had determination, perseverance, and you made it. Today, we, gra we congratulate you. You're all amazing, every single one of you. You've done your best, you've worked hard, and you're graduating. I am so proud of you. Continue on your, with your education, your career, or whatever journey you decide to go on. We love you, we care about you. Please keep in touch. Congratulations. Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Smith. Um, I have about 60 seconds to congratulate you on an incredible job this year and graduating and getting yourself to the end. I'm so proud of all of you and all of the hard work that you have done. And I thought that I would just maybe share a second to show you, since I'm in my classroom, to show some of the classroom where some of you ended up being able to come, but most of you did not. And so this is my classroom. <laughs> and I wish that I would have been able to spend more time with you here in doing art and, and all of the other fun stuff. But we had a different year the, for this. And, um, you know, there's things about it that we will remember forever. And one of the things that I've been thinking about this week are trying to focus in on the things that we enjoyed. And we learned a lot and we worked really hard and we've made it and you succeeded. And I'm super proud of all of you. So congratulations. Good luck. Hey guys, uh, congratulations on graduating. Uh, you had to overcome uh, a lot of stuff like distance learning and hybrid learning wish we could have done some more real learning in person but uh, you did it and uh, I'm happy for you and I'm proud of you and uh, I wish you all the best for the future and I uh, hope to, to see you guys come visit us once in a while if you can maybe bring donuts with you uh, I like glazed but I'll, I'll, I'll take anything anyway great job I'm proud of you and I know you'll do well. That's it. Hello, Crossroads graduates. It's Mr. Angelo, and I'm making this video to congratulate you. You have finished high school, and I'm very proud of you. And this year was not easy with distance learning and other challenges, but you all rose to the occasion, you rose to the opportunity, and you made it happen. And I am very proud of you. I was going to film this in my classroom, but I figured you didn't want to see more indoor classroom. You want to see green grass and trees and fresh air and summer weather. So on that note, congratulations again and enjoy yourselves. Whatever you do next, do it with the same gusto and positive attitude and kindness to others that you have shown this year uh, at Crossroads Independent Study. Congratulations, bye-bye. Thank you to our teachers. This concludes this very special celebration. I wanna dedicate it, especially to all of our families. We appreciate the support you've given us. You've truly been our partners in this educational journey. 
So families and graduates, please stay in touch with us as our teachers and staff have shared. We'd love to hear how you're doing. Um, please continue to follow us on social media and um, you know, put out into the community what Bridgepoint and Crossroads have meant to you. We're gonna miss you, but we know that we will hopefully run into each other once again. And with that, have a great evening and a great summer. Bye.